Today we will see some common misconceptions related to the following mathematical operations of whole numbers on the number line. Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication Misconception 1. In what way 1 plus 4 is represented on the number line? While representing the addition of whole numbers on the number line, counting often starts from zero. This is a misunderstanding. With this understanding, incorrect answer option 1 is chosen. Similarly, the sum of 1 and 4 is represented by drawing arrows between 1 and 4 is also a misunderstanding. To show addition of 1 and 4 on number line in a correct way, we have to start with first number, then take 4 steps of unit distance each towards right. By doing so, we reach at number 5. With this understanding, option 3 is the right answer. Misconception 2. In what way 6 minus 4 is represented on number line? While representing the subtraction of whole numbers on the number line, sometimes arrows are shown from 6 to 5 and 5 to 4. With this incorrect understanding, incorrect answer option 1 is chosen. Similarly, subtraction of 6 and 4 is often represented by a single arrow from 6 to 4. This is also an incorrect understanding. The right way to find the value of 6 minus 4 is to start from 6, then Move towards left by taking 4 steps of unit distance each. After taking 4 steps, we reach at number 2. This is the answer of 6 minus 4. Misconception 3 In what way 3 multiplied by 2 is represented on the number line? While representing the multiplication of whole numbers on the number line, counting is often done from the first number 3 and 2 steps are taken towards right with unit distance each, this is a misunderstanding. To multiply two numbers on the number line, one should start with zero. The first number of multiplication tells us how many steps are to be taken and the second number tells us how much distance to be kept for each step. So starting from zero, one has to take three steps of two units each. Therefore, the correct answer is option two. Sometimes, instead of taking 3 steps of 2 units each, students take 2 steps of 3 units each. Although, it gives correct answer, but this is incorrect way of thinking as it represents 2 multiplied by 3. However, we have to represent 3 multiplied by 2. So, option 3 is also an incorrect answer. Today we have seen the common misconceptions related to the following mathematical operations of whole numbers on the number line.